So, two keys, huh? That's a lot of snow. Yeah, if you can't handle it, we're happy to find someone who can't. Don't worry about me, friend. I can handle it. Marissa, baby, go get our guest some to drink, would you? We don't want a drink. What is this, a social call? It's not a tea party. You look like five-year-old girls to you? Gentlemen, please, have some patience. Two keys. Pure as a Catholic schoolgirl. Did you bring the cash? Oh, we brought something much better than cash. What's that? Our guns. NYPD, you're under arrest! <laughs> Boss man's gone. Where'd he go? Thank you, kind little lady. Gio Costa, you're under arrest. You want that drink now, Hitchcock? Don't mind if I do, Scully. Don't mind if I do. It's over, disco man. Put down the yo-yo and back away from the girl. You flamed out! Dirtbag. I'd like to request discretionary funds to start an organization supporting black, gay, and lesbian police officers. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. When we first met, we had some good times. Looks like we both want that stapler. Seems that way, based on what happened. <laughs> <laughs> So when did it all go south? 1989. I was up for a big promotion, which would have fast-tracked my career. Wanch offered to write a letter on my behalf, but instead she torpedoed me because of something that happened the night before she was to turn it in. Madeline. Would you care for a drink? I'd love one. I'm sure you can tell I'm quite drunk. I've had a couple to build up the nerve. I think we both know what I'm about to say. Raymond. I don't think we need to say anything. I'm gay. That's what I was going to tell you. Well, then. She sabotaged my career because I refused to bed her. You're going to spend the rest of your life in a little cement room doing nothing. And while you're in there, I'm going to go for a swim. And after that swim, I might take another swim. And you'll just be sitting there on your metal toilet, thinking of me swim, swim, swimming all day long. When I get out of lockup, I'm going to hunt you down and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> right. And now I'm about to hack your world into pieces, old man. I'll show you. No, just do the thing with the bank. That'll show me. Whoa, looks like someone was a catalog model in Japan. Whoa. Those boots! That slicker. The no pants. Who's the target audience for these pics, Sarge? I was a starving student. Terry needed the yen. Kode wa otoko no kusushita? Chikou yo, sore wa tokubetsu na kutushita. Ocha no toki no. Ine, tei wa ocha ga daisuki. Gomen na, atashi anato ga kore ga tada no asobi da te shitteru to omotta. Anari da, Terry wa nihongo no binkyo ni kite. Shit's all in dake, mananda no ka. There's a call for you. Oh, is it a casting agent from Double Deer? I submitted as a kid. Maybe they're finally calling to put me on the show. You think they'd be calling 30 years later? All right, fine. I also submitted to the reboot. It's not Double Deer. It's an inmate from South Hill State Prison. Doug Judy. Hello? Hey, Peranta. What's good? Hey, Doug. Are you OK? I wanted you to know, and I've been thinking about it a lot. I didn't mean what I said. I'm glad I met you. Sure, it ended badly, but we had some good times along the way, too. We went on a cruise together. We flew on Mark Cuban's jet. We ate at a restaurant next to Gail from Top Chef. Yeah, and then you got so mad at her about Last Chance Kitchen. I wasn't mad. I just think it's the same that they make you go online to watch it. The point is, I wouldn't trade those moments for anything. I'm choosing to focus on the journey. Wait a minute. What language is that? I don't know. Maybe Dutch. There's a lot of that in here. You know how active the Dutch Mafia is in Jersey? Judy. OK, fine. Surprise! I'm in Amsterdam. I escaped from prison. My wife and I are living a life here now. Amsterdam is great. Jake, they got universal health care. Legalized marijuana. And the workers are treated so much better. But you know what the best part is? That you're a free man again. No, stroopwafels. They're like these wait for cookies with caramel in between. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen those at Trader Joe's. Uh, well, look, I guess I'm 
happy that you're happy. Well, I owe it all to you. What do you mean? I think you know what I mean. Uh, nope. No idea. Really? Because after we hugged goodbye, I noticed your pin was in my pocket. Oh, that's weird. It was? Uh-huh. And then I used it to mind freak myself out of my cuffs and then out of jail. Well, then I guess it's certainly lucky that it ended up in your pocket. I wonder how it got there. Yeah, well, I guess we'll never know. Well, however it got there, I'm glad it did. I love you, Peralta. Love you too, Judy. Tigers and Tooks! Tigers and Tooks. Are you ready for this one? Dottie's daughter, Anne, is getting divorced. Hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. You know, we should fix her up with Bernice's son. What's his name, the doctor? Oh, Vince. And he's not a doctor, he's a pharmacist. Although that might appeal to Anne. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> You're such a cracker. Forget Ann. Who should we fix him up with, huh? Oh, now, Sal, you know I'm still getting over the tragedy loss of my wife. She was such a strong female woman with nice, heavy breasts. Who's that? Oh, that's my neighbor. Hey, Larry. Ah, oh, hey. Greb. Greg. Ah, that was it. I'm not sure why I have so much trouble remembering, probably because our relationship is so casual. Mm -hmm. Morning, ladies. Hi. Uh, do a lap without me. I need to talk to Larry about an issue with our shared fence. Larry, I need to talk to you about an issue with our shared fence. Yes, I also need to discuss this shared fence issue with you. Okay, they're out of earshot. Why are you up so early? No reason, just excited to face a new day. Oh, because ever since we've been down here, you've been a little depressed. Have I? <laughs> no, 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 don't eat the burrito. <laughs> okay, fine. I may have had a teensy bit of trouble adjusting when we first got here for like six teensy little months, but I took your advice and I got a job. Doing what? I sell ATVs now. Huh? Well, the truth is these little babies sell themselves. They're super fun and they're a lot safer than you might think if you're standing next to one. If you're driving it, it's actually much more dangerous than you could possibly imagine. Well, a job is good. I know being stuck down here in Florida isn't ideal, but we need to make the best of it. In fact, I'm applying for a promotion at my new job. Ah, very nice. And if all goes well, tonight you might be neighbors with Greg Stickney, assistant manager. Very double noise. Well, I'm off to work. <clears throat> you might want to stand back. You're kind of in the blast zone here. Don't want to forget the strap. Safety first. That's what I was doing. Oh, okay. Hey, Jake, can I show you something over here? Sure thing, bud. I'm trying to send Genevieve a sexy pic. Just move my bubble butt pop. Nope, I'm out. Who's that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, excuse me, pal. Take you out of my desk. Don't be a dumb dumb. Squad, meet Detective Adrian Pimento. He's been deep undercover for the last 12 years, but he's just resurfaced, and he's rejoining the 9-9. That is awesome. I work for Jimmy the Butcher Figures. That is an A-list mobster. Tell me literally everything. Everyone, shut up! Pretty much just a bag man for him. I mean... I did some other stuff. Um, we usually try to tell funnier little stories. Well, there's nothing funny about what I did for the butcher. I've had to learn not to blink, because every time I close my eyes, I see a fresh horror. Ooh, dark. But how do you keep your eyes moist? No. Actually, I have a very funny story about keeping my eyes moist. <laughs> Still not getting our vibe, man. Really? 